and Georgian Diablo with Matt Kikali was third at six to one. All right, we're going to head over to the two-year-old pacing Colts. Again, $40,000 on the line. And Draconian is coming off of a win for the father-son team of Ben Stafford and Ben Stafford Jr. It's still Draconian leading the way. Jackson Colleen is lurking in the pocket. The pepperoni kid still gunning on the outside, but now begins to fade. Town Treasure inside fourth at the top of the stretch. It's Draconian with the lead. Here comes Jackson Colleen in the passing lane to challenge Draconian. Draconian is digging in, and Draconian is holding him off. Late kick from Town Treasure. Not going to get to Draconian. Draconian makes it look easy. Whoa. What was, oh, Dracula. I was like, that doesn't sound like a dragon, but it's Draconian. Gotcha. It sucked your neck, my oh. dear. <laughs> okay, this horse wins by two lengths with Tim Tietrick in the bike, who happens to be the country's leading driver in money with over 10 million now in purses earned for 2010. A vampire. Very few people know that. <laughs> oh, that Tim Tietrick's a vampire? I heard. <laughs> Well, if you heard it, it must be true, right? All right. <laughs> and stay with us when we come back. Our roving correspondent and my fill-in from last week, Jen Sherlock, will be back with a special feature on the returning Dan Dubay. Hi, and welcome back to the show with Stephen Heather. It's time now to go to our roving correspondent, Jen Sherlock. And she caught up with Dan Dubay, who, of course, came off that bad injury that he sustained at the Meadowlands a little while back. But he's come back, and he's doing great guns, going great guns, rather. And Jen's got the story with Danny. Driver Danny Dubay is back after a nasty injury on June 19th. Bad step and he's down. Four stars left. He fell down. A bad accident on the back stretch. Dubay is driving like his old self. In fact, Dubay won one of the biggest races at Harris Chester on Super Stakes Sunday, winning the Battle of the Brandywine with Rock and Roll Heaven. It was a difficult road back. I broke my right hand and my lower back. I got two crack on my lower back. That's my back was hurting the most. Uh, now everything's all right. Dubay was out for six weeks, but fortunately for him, he never lost two of his top horses, Rock and Roll Heaven and Vintage Master. That's because his owners believed he'd come back strong. You never know what the owner was gonna, one is going to think about that. And uh, you don't know if he's going to be ready to come back. I don't know. You know, that's, they go for big money. I understand that. And uh, I'm glad those guys, they gave me the drive back right away, you know. But he definitely got in some well-deserved R&R on his break. He spent some time with his family. I was always going uh, to the beach, doing something I never do usually because I'm working every night, you know, go to dinner, have fun, you know. As you can imagine, there is an adjustment when you go through an accident like Dan experienced back in June. When you come back, uh, the first couple of races, you think about that, man. When soon you back on for good, you know, you kind of forget about that and keep going, you know. I'm Jennifer Sherlock, PA Harness Week. Rock and roll, heaven wins. Thank you, Jen, and best of luck to you, Danny, in your return. You're going great guns, and we're happy about that. Time now to go to EB Home, the coach, and find out what's on his mind this week. Good morning, and welcome back to the coach's corner. Hey, I took a week off last week, but I left you with three winners, so the overall bankroll jumped up to $878. This week, there are a lot of stakes races, so we're just going to get right to them. Uh, first up, Saturday uh, night, tonight out at Indiana Downs. They're having their Super Saturday. i got to jump on one horse, Earl's Glider, the two horse in the sixth race out there. I'm going to put $50 to win on Earl's Glider. I'm going to jump over to Mohawk tonight in the Champlain Stakes, the eighth race. Number nine, Pretty Catherine. I'm going to put $50 to win and $20 to place on Pretty Catherine. Then we're going to jump over on Sunday here at Chester. I don't know how I could go against this presidential order. Nobody seems to beat them, so I'm not going to. It's the open race here, the 11th presidential order, $20 to win and $20 to place. And then rounding out our selections, Monday, we're going up to beautiful Yonkers. And Joey the Czar is running the Crawford Pay Stakes. He's running in the eighth race. He's the number seven horse, Joey the Czar. We're going to bet 40 to win and 20 to place. Good luck. Now it's time to take a break. So when we come back, we'll be going to In the Bike. Ten of Harness Racing's heaviest hitters for the Canadian Pacing Derby Final. Horses Helping People. 
people helping horses. At Equilibrium, horses help those with special needs achieve balance in body, mind, and spirit, while Equilibrium's people give retired horses the forever home they deserve. Join in the giving and help spread the joy of equine-assisted activities. Visit www.equi-librium.org to learn more and make a tax-deductible contribution today. Equilibrium, a helping hoof for those in need. Hi and welcome back. It's time now to go in the bike. Well, they contested the cane pace at Freehold Raceway. For years, it was a staple at a New York area track, which is now not around anymore. But Freehold's doing a great job presenting the first leg of pacing's Triple Crown, raced Labor Day at Freehold. Millionaire, one more laugh was the three to five chalk with Timmy Tietrich, Del Marvelous, and Brian Sears was the four to one second choice. Rockin' Image and Yannick Jingra was the nine to two third choice. And here's Larry Letterman with a call of this year's Kane Pace. Down the lane in the Kane, it is one more laugh is coming up with all the right answers. Rockin' Image gave it his best, but his best isn't good enough with guts, talent, and class. One more laugh. Well, one more laugh made the Kane Pace his own personal big joke because he squashed his opponents like dogs in 150 and three, a new track record at Freehold, and he won it by four, but he could have won it by 40 or 400. He was that good. Rock and Image came off a cover, flying at him on the far turn, looked like he was gonna be, make a menacing move. Couldn't even get close, couldn't get a sniff, and he finished second. And third was Urgent Action, a 61 bomber with Dave Miller, he got third. But it was an exciting cane pace. Next up, by the way, on One More Laugh's Dance Card, the Little Brown Jug on the 23rd of September. Oh, good. We'll keep our eye out for that. All right, we're going to head to Canada now. Don't worry about your passports. We're just going to take you there. Uh, $780,000 on the line for the Canadian Pacing Derby. Let me just tell you, former winners, Real Desire, Gallo Blue Chip, Western Ideal, these are all amazing race uh, racehorses that have won this race. The favorite in here is Shark Gesture, 6-5, to five, and the defending champion. Also, look out for Won the West and Hypnotic Blue Chip. Shark Gesture's made a break. Shark Gesture's off stride on the lead, so he's going to hold up everybody in the rail. Hypnotic Blue Chip takes over command for Jameson, three quarters in 123 and 1 to the lead comes Hypnotic Blue Chip. Right up in behind him from its second now is won the West. And Miller drops inside of Hypnotic Blue Chip now as they step into the final eighth of the mile. Hypnotic Blue Chip starts to hang. Won the West is coming on. And it's won the West scooting through at the inside. Wow. Okay, so that's why they say anything can happen in a horse race, right? Shark Jester goes off stride and Hypnotic Blue Chip just takes over the lead. And then here comes Won the West flying down the stretch, winning in 151 and 2. Do you like my year? Wow, you are got more expression than I do. Amazing. I love that. Okay, so um, actually, that's kind of slow, right? 51 and 2? Because the track was sloppy, all right? These horses usually go faster. Um, but still, they're forgiven, all right? David Miller is driving um, when the West passes $3 million in earnings. Great race. Hypnotic Blue Chip second. Better Sweet took third. God, I love those older pacers. Well, Darlin, we were plumb out of show for this week anyway, but it was an action-packed show. We had lots of stuff going on. And I want to remind everybody that October the 9th, circle that in your calendar, it is going to be sports history. Why? Because Mohegan Sun of Pocono Downs, for the first time in Breeders' Crown history, is going to host each and every, the dirty dozen, as it were, of the greatest harness races in the country to be contested October the 9th, be there, be square. Okay, so put that on your calendar. And for everybody here at PA Harness Week, including my partner, Heather Moffitt, I'm Steve Ross, reminding you to remember to get high on harness. It's only natural. Oh, they go. Explosive matter wins the Colonial easily. Underway. Starting fast outside here on the Messenger.